Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 3 training part 28. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our fuel injection timing. Now, our fuel injection timing is going to be when we want to command the injector to spray in relation to our crankshaft rotation in our auto cycle. It's going to be factoring in, taking a look at our intake and exhaust valve opening and closing events, which is based on the camshaft profile that we're running. Once we install aftermarket camshaft into our LS engine, everything's going to be thrown off. So we need to go back in and fix the injection timing reference points. So that's going to be reflecting the new intake and exhaust valve opening and closing events based on the camshaft profile that we're using. So we're going to get into all of that in this video. I have a nice Excel spreadsheet calculator that you can simply enter in your cam card numbers. That's going to give you corrected values that you can simply copy and paste from the Excel spreadsheet right back into your HP Tuner's calibration file to give you an excellent starting point. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our fuel injection timing in our GM Gen 3 ECMs. Now, the fuel injection timing is going to be the point where we want to spray our fuel injector in our auto cycle in relation to crankshaft degrees, also referencing our intake and exhaust valve opening and closing events based on the camshaft profile that we have installed in our engine. Now, if you have a stock camshaft, we don't need to update our fuel injection timing tables. But if we have an aftermarket cam installed, we're going to find that our uh, valve timing events are going to change and we need to go and update our fuel injection timing tables to represent uh, that new camshaft profile that we have installed so that we're not spraying fuel out of an open exhaust valve and essentially wasting fuel and creating a strong fuel smell, which is one thing you're going to notice once you've installed a cam onto your Gen 3 engine. So let's jump in and take a look at a file example here so we can use it for reference in this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to go here to File and go to Open, and then in our Documents folder, HP Tuners, Logs and Tunes, and Samples folder, we're going to have a bunch of different sample examples that HP Tuners gives us when we install our software. We're going to be taking a look at our 2002 Chevy Camaro P01 file here. Let's click open and let's open up that file. We can start to take a look at our fuel injection timing tables. So if we move into engine here and we go into fuel and then we go into general, we're going to find towards the bottom of the screen we have our area here for our injection timing. Now we have three different areas or ways we can program our injection timing. We have a boundary, we have a normal, and we have a makeup. We'll come back to these tables here um, in just a minute, but I want to talk about the fuel injection timing in our Gen 3 ECMs. This is a, a bit of a confusing topic. The fuel injection timing is going to be referenced as end of injection. So I have coming up on the screen a picture that's going to better illustrate what is going on with the end of an injection reference as far as our crankshaft degrees are going to be concerned. Um, it is, again, going to be a little bit of a confusing topic. Now, if we're taking a look at our picture here, zero degrees is going to be TDC between our compression and our combustion stroke. So when we're working with the end of injection, we're going to be moving backwards in the auto cycle. So as we're going backwards, going from our uh, compression stroke, going into our intake stroke, that's going to go from zero degrees to 360 degrees. That's going to be our marker. So the TDC mark between our intake and exhaust, which normally would be referencing at as our zero point, starting point in the engine, that's going to be going backwards. That is now going to be known as 360 degrees. And then if we go another um, 180 here in the picture, it's going to go all the way back to that zero degree mark or 720 degrees in the auto cycle. So end of injection is going to be moving backwards in the auto cycle. This is the same kind of idea if we're talking about our spark timing. If we're looking at our spark timing table here and we jump into our values, these are going to be expressed in degrees before top dead center. So zero degrees in our table here would represent that uh, TDC marker between our compression and our combustion stroke. And then as our values get positive, we're moving further away from our marker of that zero degrees. So this would be 40 degrees BTDC or before top dead center. So you can think, think of the values in end of injection as BTDC or before top dead center on our compression stroke if we're kind of referencing our spark timing. So that's the way I like to visualize things so it makes a little bit more sense. So let's jump back into fuel and back into our injection timing. So What's confusing, the next kind of confusing thing we want to get out of the way here, we call it we call this end of injection. It's where we want to go and end the injection event, but it's actually going to be where we want to start the injection event. So when we're specifying the point of the end of injection, that's actually where the injector is going to start from, and then it's allowed to spray all the way throughout the rest of the auto cycle. So that's another kind of confusing thing. So it is end of injection referenced, it's EOI or end of injection timing referenced but it is going to be the actual starting point of the injector. It's easier to tie the end of injection point to our uh, spark timing events on our compression stroke rather than trying to go in 
and look at it in the other terms of kind of flipping up the auto cycle. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.